All right, the governor's public health commission has wrapped up its statewide listening tour as it works to improve Indiana's public health system. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Eskow joins us here in studio. And uh, there's uh, some of the challenges health departments are facing, quite a few of them, right? Well, that's right, Max. And for quite some time, there was a lot of interest in the commission's final public input meeting, a packed room in Plainfield, as the governor's public health commission made the final stop on its listening tour. One of the members of that commission tells me many health officials are sharing similar concerns when it comes to funding and resources. There's always that worry about the dirty bomb or a biological terrorism agent. Preparedness, programs, and personnel. Those were just some of the topics discussed as the governor's public health commission heard from Hoosiers, including local health leaders. What kind of delays are happening in public health programming because there's a delay in getting paperwork? We need to direct funding you know, not just to shiny new buildings, I need the horses to pull the cart. Governor Eric Holcomb formed the Public Health Commission last year. It's working to issue recommendations on ways to improve Indiana's public health system. The commission spent the last few weeks touring the state to gather input. But the things that we do and the things that we need, I think we've heard echoed across the state. Mindy Waldron serves on the commission and deals with many of those issues firsthand as the health administrator for Allen County. She says finding more sustainable forms of funding and strengthening the public health workforce are two of the biggest themes health leaders have raised. We've seen, I think, over these last two years, the importance of a robust public health delivery system and that it's ready, sustained, and trained. Next, the Governor's Public Health Commission will meet a few more times this spring to discuss what should be included in its final report with those recommendations. That report will be released by the end of the summer. Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News.